What's up guys, I'm Weekend Warrior, and this is part 5 of my Conan Exiles Age of Sorcery Update 3.0 Let's Play. Alright, picking up where we left off, I'm back at our, back at base here, our, uh, epic base, freaking crafting platform ridiculousness. But I'm back here, and I spent about, so after I ended that last episode, I spent like, probably like 2 or 3 IRL hours in Sepramuru just going around doing that same exact thing that I was doing. We have a uh, pretty good amount of thralls now. These are all the these are all the thralls. Look, look, look at all these loot crates that I got too from. Uh, I got all these from like sorcerers and tier I, I, uh, tier two and tier three um, bears. So we're gonna open up all of those goodies and see what we got. I even got some more cloth satchels here. Um, I opened up one of the tier three bears um, supply materials pack and we got 500 alchemical base I opened up some other ones too we got like 500 bear pelt that's a ton of thick leather and another one here but these are all the that these are all named thralls that I got so the lone fisherman so cook I got another tier 3 bear I got a named sorcerer um, this is a was a you know put him on the wheel of pain I think this one makes up when you put them on your tortures work table makes the best durability Named Tanner, a couple more named Smelters, three more named Alchemists. I got all of the all of the blacksmiths and all of the armors. That was like the best thing. I got a uh, in the best part is I got the I got Bladesmith, got Scout right now, I got Shield right, even got a uh, Temper right. Uh, I don't know what they're even useful for. They don't I don't think they make legendary armor repair kits. They make like the master ones. But I got a uh, a couple of Temper Smiths, uh, a couple Edge Smiths. These guys make legendary repair kits, which is awesome, and they uh, they make the most. Your your if you craft your tools with them, they make them super durable. They give them like a really big durability boost, and they got a uh, this named carpenter. And there's I don't know if there's any more on the horse. No, 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 no more on the horse. Those are all the thralls that we got, and I got two more uh, drivers or whatever, but they're on the wheels of pain that we have back there. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna yoink all of these and start placing them on their uh, stations. So once I'm done with that, I'll uh, get back to it. Alright dudes, so we got all of our uh, new friends at their respective workstations. Which is pretty awesome. It's nice having uh, all your workstations just full of really good thralls. Feels good. So we have a couple of dudes over here, right? This is one of the things that I wanted to do today. I have a list here, right? Of things I want to accomplish. I want to corrupt our authority uh, perk to, to the second level. Um, there's some benches and stuff I'm gonna lay down. I have all my materials ready to go here in this tortures work table for some improved benches. Um, hit up the unnamed city to learn the map room recipe. All right, we have t uh, over 200 demon blood now, so it's time to get down a map room, make it a little easier to get around the exiled lands. And then we're gonna do a trip up north, uh, visit the mounds of the dead. There's a couple of recipes that I want to learn there, um, and and. Uh, Reluctantly try to get some star metal. It's like super annoying in single player. I always have it's always a pain in the butt to get star metal, but I'm hoping that we can get some if we don't. Um, there's a little workaround that I'm gonna that I'm going to do, but I'll explain that to you guys when uh, in a little bit here. And then get some black ice. We're gonna go up to the frost temple and hopefully get uh get some black ice going. But now um, let me go ahead and grab all these materials that I got ready to go are going to be encumbered. I'm going to start upgrading these workstations though. So we got our improved armor's bench, improved carpenter's bench, improved alchemist's bench. Also going to put down a casting table. Also going to put down an improved tannery. And a dismantling bench. All right, dudes, that is all of our new crafting stations, so that's pretty sweet. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, use the Sacrificial Stone. Let's do this Soul Drain recipe. So this will help us uh, corrupt our stats. It's going to give us the full corruption when we do this. Just I'll let this play out here. It takes, like, kind of takes a little bit, which is honestly kind of annoying. We should, like, speed this up. All right, this is not that bad. So yeah, we just went to 50% corruption. Now you can see we have uh, five soul essence. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna grab this other dude, throw his butt on here, and do this again. One more time. Alright, 
everything's super dead. We have another soul essence. Okay, so we have 10 soul essence on us right now, right? So, let's go into our attributes. You can corrupt strength, vitality, and authority, right? So, I already have my points into authority. Now, I can corrupt them. I want, and I want to corrupt them because I'll show you the second perk into authority that you get. So, it takes one soul essence to corrupt one point. So, that's why I have the 10 soul essence there. We went all the way to the first perk, which is a Frenzy. I'm not really worried about that one, but what I really want to go for is the second perk. Flesh Bond. T damage taken by you is split between you and your followers. So, I'll take less damage. It'll just split up between me and my bear, because that's pretty much the only follower that I'll have, or my horse, but our horse is at the level now, horse is max level, horse is uh, almost 3,000 health, bear has about almost 8,000, which is really good, and now I can just go over here to our dancer and get rid of this excess corruption, so I'll still have some corruption from being, from uh, corrupting those that into the second perk in authority. But it won't be all the way 50% like that. So you can see the dancers getting rid of our corruption there. I think we may, might just stick at medium. But uh, it shouldn't be too terrible. And with our, I mean, I have pretty garbage armor on right now, which is one of the things I'm going to craft some better armor since we do have a, um, we do have some named thralls now, which will craft better armor for us. We see now 525 health with 112 stamina. And that's just with totally basic, like, no bonuses from armor or anything like that. Which is, uh, pretty decent. What I think I'm gonna do, though, is have our shield... I'll usually, for the armor that I craft myself, I'll, for the most part, use our scout right, and then for the thralls, use the shield right. Scout right gives a good weight reduction bonus to your armor. Shield right gives a good... Uh, armor bonus to the armor, but uh, I think for this I'm just gonna craft myself basic ass medium armor again I actually can learn the exile epic armor, which I'll do right now These exile epics I have to use learn star metal tools first. That's fine I should do that anyway, and I'll learn the rest and then star metal pickaxe. I'll learn that learn the rest of this crap too Another thing we need to do is uh, get our improved like the like the grandmaster stuff. We should learn that pretty soon but let's just stick with this uh, improved stuff for now. I know it's not the most efficient that you can get it really going. I go for like the garrison stuff that it, that um, is good for reducing the amount of items that you need to craft. But anyways, so you can craft exile epic armor in here. I didn't even learn it. Come on, man. Okay, so you learned some exile epics, which is pretty cool. And I think for me. I'm just gonna learn. I'm just gonna use some basic medium armor, but our, this uh, our, this shield right, we'll put a, put a good armor bonus on it, and I'll just put armor reduction kits. And then for our thrall, for our bearer, I think I'm gonna do. Where is that one? This one right here. This the uh, the bear chan gives you a good health bonus, and it just takes heavy padding. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, craft up like the padding and get the materials that I need for this and then I'll come back once uh, this stuff is crafted up. All right, so I got our armors crafted. The reason I went with this bear chan is because I just get a health bonus. So I'm just gonna throw that on our thrall to just give him up just a health boost. And then this, the medium armor, again, super basic, but it gives us a better carrying capacity. We'll get uh, some really good armor probably uh, in the next episode or so. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the medium armor. Then I go over to, uh, oh, that's another, that's our other bear, oops. Where is, okay, other bears over here, I'm like super slow, because I'm all encumbered. Okay, let's just switch this out. That's going to be all confusing now, it's all good. Okay, the bear chance stuff. And what else? And that the head. Okay, so 673 armor rating and a little boost to his health, so that's cool. I'm cool with that. And then I just gotta figure out which one. Okay, that's our good one. Let's see, plus 15 compared to uh, plus 21. Nice little like, bonus here. That's plus 15. There's plus 21. 
21, 21. All right. That's weirdo T posing. What a weirdo. But anyway, so we got our good armor on now, now with the weight reduction kits. 365 armor rating, which we can go to stats, see how much damage it's blocking. 42% damage reduction. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up all these loot crates that we got. Let's see what we got here. So I'm start opening them. Oh my gosh, it's an awesome amount of alchemical base. Let's go. Okay, feathers. Probably just. Okay. Give me some more alchemical base. These are just a split between like tier 2 and tier 3. So I'm not sure which ones are which. Got some blood. More, oh yeah, more alchemical base. Let's go. That's freaking sick. Sick nasty. Look at that. Okay. Look at this. So that is seven, 1750 alchemical base, a bunch of iron, a bunch of twine. Man, that's a lot of feathers. And I got a bunch of new source of spell pages too. Along with failed source of spell pages, which you can turn into those. I'll grab a, oh man, we got a bunch of alchemical base. That's sick. Bear, all this bear, bear pelt from those bears too. So we're gonna have a ton of thick leather, which is pretty cool. Got some rhino hide. Skinned a couple of rhinos while I was down there. That separate maroon, I'll just throw that in here. I'm just gonna like drop off all these goodies that we got and just take another look at our inventory. That's just from tier two and tier three bears that I slaughtered down there. All right, dudes, I think we have everything that we need to go on our adventure here. I did craft a uh, another ancient Kopesh from our bladesmith. He just made it a little bit better, so it's got 44 damage now, and I did. I crafted a uh, ancient pike. It's not really my style, but a little bit gaming had uh, suggested try it out. So hey, I'll freaking craft one and try it out. It has, I guess it has pretty good damage for uh, for a, for only a steel weapon. That's pretty good, like 59 damage. So I might use it while I'm on my horse. You know what? I'd really like to get a um, an upgraded saddle for this guy too, but I need silk. We'll just uh, do that another time. But I got some gruel in this dude ready to go. I know a lot of people are saying, hey, keep uh, food in your thrall while you're leveling. And you know what, guys? Yeah, it's a good idea, okay? It is a good idea. Even though you still, in order to get that the the bonus that you want, you gotta take the food out and then put it back in. Um, this guy, we'll, we'll find some Asura's Glory along the way and put it in there. But I think we are ready to go. So we're gonna hit up the unnamed city. So on the way there, you know, I just wanna take a little bit of time to just thank everybody that's been showing up, leaving comments, leaving likes, watching this stuff. So awesome. Feels good making some content that people are really enjoying. I just want to really thank everyone that has been uh, coming to the channel. It's been great. It's been really great. I'm, I'm really enjoying making Conan content, and I'm really enjoying that you guys are liking the content. And a lot of you dudes saying that like you're learning stuff from it. That's like that's the best part about this for me, because that's what I like. Oh man, you know what I didn't do? Uh, I'll be out long enough. I say I didn't. I didn't get our buffs, but I have a elixir of freedom on me. I usually like to keep another one, but boom, we got our buffs going now. Didn't forget about them. Actually, I did back there, but whatever. I'm saying that's why I like watching game. I like learning stuff from uh, you know from the games that I like to play. And if I can help you guys learn some things, man, that that makes it totally worth it. But uh, unnamed city shouldn't be that far. We're gonna go uh, head over there. We are on our way there right now. All right, so the unnamed city. We are here. Um, all right, so there, there's a couple of things I've been really enjoying playing it single player, like way more than I thought I would be. But there's two things that really uh, that really piss me off about single player. One of them is the unnamed city. Right? There's a bunch of uh, uh, fragments of power that are scattered around. They're just like on the ground or on different spots behind ledges and crap. There's actually one right here. Like these, right? These respawn every 12 hours on a regular server. I'm gonna go around and get these easy ones, so that's one of them. I guess we can do like a show you guys if you don't know where these are. But I'm gonna go check. I'm not gonna check every single spot where these things are at, right? Because that just that just be boring and take too long. Some are like you gotta climb a freaking ways to get them. But I know there's one back here. But anyways, back to my rant. Um, in in single player, these aren't the for 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 what I've experienced. They they won't respawn. Once I get them, this is like my only time. 
where I can get these things, these easy relic fragments. I just keep jumping along back here. But yeah, on a regular server, they would respawn every 12 hours, and they'd be uh, pretty easy to get. I don't know if there's, there might not be one back here. They're not here every time. Yep, that was right there, but I guess it's not there this time. We gotta watch our stam because we gotta climb still. But yeah, that's that's just kind of disappointing. But I'll get these easy ones. And then the other thing is star metal. I've always had a pretty big pain in the ass time getting star metal in single player. Which is why I was saying I have 20 explosive arrows on me. I'm gonna go up to the. I'm gonna go up there, right? I'm gonna chill, probably next to Stargazer's crest. Oh, what we got here? Legendary armor patch. Get nice. But I'm gonna um go up there, hang out for like a half hour next to Stargazer's crest. If I don't, if I don't get any star metal, if nothing, if I don't see anything, you know, there's no uh, freaking meteor shower within that time. I'm tossing 20 freaking explosive arrows and I'm spawning myself in 2,000 star metal ore. Like, I'm not waiting up there forever, man. I I, I don't hate my life, so that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do here though is there's a couple of relic hunters over there with a uh, a one star boss. It gives you like drops like the heart of a hero or whatever if you kill him. I'm not worried about doing that right now though but I'm just gonna go a few of these spots and I'll take you along there to uh, get some easy relic fragments sometimes there's one behind this dragon down here and it is not there this time it's usually like right back there it's not there so I'll keep going yeah, there's one behind this uh, second little tower here it's like down in there so I'm just gonna get off here quick I'm just gonna just gotta climb up here fast and our our thralls oh, they should teleport up to us and all the these guys are probably gonna like freaking whack them around a little bit. They'll I think will be okay. They should yeah, it'll be alright. They're gonna teleport up here once we get to the top. So we should be okay. Come on. All right. Yep, there they are. Okay, yep, this one right down here. There we go. Okay, relic fragment, got it. Keep going. There's one that's on top of there, but I'm not climbing my happy ass up there, so we're gonna keep moving. Sometimes there's one behind this, uh, the red mother dragon down here. We'll check it out. It's not there this time. It's usually next to that chest. But we gain corruption back here, so we'll get on out of here. Check another spot. There uh, might be one on top of this little tower right here. So I'm gonna check up there. Take out these losers first. Yeah, we should uh, kick their butt. Okay. Take this guy out. It's got a Yog buff. We can went away, but that's okay. All right, got those guys down. So I'm just gonna climb up to the top of this and um, you guys up there. All right, dudes, and it is uh, unfortunately not up here, but I guess I'll grab those silver coins. Let's just get back down. Okay, we'll keep on moving. There might be one down this way. I know there's one, there's a snake back in that little uh, area back there, but I'm not going to bother going back there. There's sometimes one that spawns back there, but I'm, I ain't dealing with that snake right now. There might be one around here. It's usually like chilling on a little ledge over here. If it's there. I think it's usually like hanging out right there, but it is not there this time. That's okay. And that's about all the spots that I'm going to check. There's like a lot more spots, but those are just like the easy ones that are on my way here. So we'll get back, um, we'll go back here to uh, learn cartographer so we can get, a, we get the map room recipe. We have a couple of fragments of power too, so we can like change those in, uh, trade those in at the little library back there. I've never done that before, like show you how that works. Gaining corruption. It's okay though. I'm gonna bonk this obelisk. Bonk. Okay, we tuned to an obelisk, that's pretty neat. Gaining corruption back here. It's alright. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, so the archives. Sweet learn the map room. 
running. Get that pretty soon. Yep, here's a big weirdo hanging out. Big map room weirdo. Cartographer. Oh, talk to this bro. Okay, learn cartographer. I right, peace out. You can also learn uh, all the oils recipe for for five fragments of power, but we're not going to do that this uh, this time. This is the uh, so this is like if you, you can interact with this this little scroll wall. So I just exchanged a, a fragment of power that, or access the dark library. I have two fragments of power on me, so I can hit this twice, and then you get I get a scroll. So practice swords and a petrified egg. That's really lame. The one that I, I I'd like the like the kiln is really cool. The scroll I can just drop. We'll get on out of here now. So I'm just gonna uh, run out of here and uh, meet you guys there. All right, we are on our way out of the unnamed city. See you later, nerds. Peace. We can get out of here. So we'll uh, keep the adventure going. So we're just outside the uh, War Maker's dungeon here, and I'm just gonna bonk this obelisk just to get this out of the way. Cause this is a good obelisk to have. It's close to the uh, it's close to Sephirim room, so bonk and bonked it, and we will keep on keeping on. All right, we are near the den. Just to show you guys where we are on the map we're over here now, and uh, we're right next to Jebel Sagbro, the guy that teaches you uh, how to get to. The Jebel Sag dungeon. We could, uh, I could like slaughter the scorpion. Let's uh, just take that guy out. But you can, you can like harvest him too, and then get feral flesh. Uh, there's a couple more scorpions here. Are gonna be annoying. Get the feral flesh that you need to buy a potion of midnight. I'm not gonna do that right now. To get, but to get to the Jebel Sag dungeon, I'm just gonna learn midnight al alchemist though, so I can actually craft those potions in. Uh, at the alchemist table, um, I forget what the recipe is. It might call. It might have like raw ash as one of them, which I don't have. I think yeah, you gotta get that at the volcano. But can at least uh, craft it if I want to. But well, this is the way that I'm gonna use to uh, go up north here. It's gonna cut right through this way, so we'll just uh, keep on moving. All right, guys, getting into the north. Now we just pass through that little uh, gateway. There's a bunch of pigs over here. There's a bear too. Actually, uh, man. These bear, they then drop fur. I might, might take these out quick. I do need, I need a little bit of. I would like to get some fur. And there's way more efficient ways to get in this. Yeah, this dude's kind of tanky. Actually, I think pigs drop fur too. Might just do that. But we're already at this, so we can at least like take this guy out. Let's see, we have, we have glutton for punishment. And then uh, our thralls are taking some more damage too. Gotta worry about st uh, stamina. This guy's going down. There we go. The pigs drop fur too, as well. And those are like way easy to take out. Okay, got bear pelt. No fur. I don't think we're gonna get fur. That stinks. I don't want this then. I need to. Well, rip. Note to self, I guess uh, bears don't drop fur. They just drop bear pelt. Unless it's like fur is like a rare drop on them or something like that. I do want to kind of. I want, to kind of, I want to look around for some Asura's glory. Like little purple plants. Oh, here they are. There are like some up here. That's not very many. But. It's got our iron sickle still. I haven't even upgraded that yet. But. Actually, that's midnight. Uh, I don't want that then. Might just look around for Asura's glory quick. Oh, we got a pig here. Pretty sure these guys dropped some fur. And we just wreck them. Get wrecked. Yeah, he drops fur. Nice. Nice. Need a little bit of fur. Okay, we'll keep moving. Alright, we got a wolf that's like large amounts of mad at us, so we're gonna take them out. I think these guys drop fur. Bonk, got ya. The reason I want some fur, right, is cause. Oh, maybe they don't. Just wolf pelt. Alright, I'm just gonna drop that. Because the armor set that I want to go for. The first, th there's basically two armors that I want. One is like a starter kind of strength build, and the next one is uh, like our end game kind of armor that I would like. But 
the armor that I want to go for is I wanna, at first we'll do the reptile reptile hide helmet and chest that'll give um I think it's like a plus seven each bonus to stamina and then the Cambodian shaman uh, hands um, tacit and feet and that'll give a good that'll be, that'll be plus 15 to strength right so the build that I'm going for is basically like fire spark 81 strength build if you he's got a video on it, I'll just put like a link in the description I, I didn't I did not make up this build I'm not like a freaking build genius that guy makes some really good content I just tried out using this strength build that he came up with and that's where I got the the you know my how I use my weapons and everything from from him he makes some really good content so give him credit for that but that's what I'm gonna go for and then after that we'll get uh the Kari overseer helmet helmet Kari soldier chest uh Kari soldier tacit the media the uh silent legion medium gauntlets and then the Cambodian shaman uh boots so that'll be a plus 18 percent to strength weapon damage just make sure i'm going the right way and then a uh, good stamina and health boost so that's what i'm kind of going for but we'll keep on our uh, journey up north here all right so we're just coming up on the mounds of the dead right now i'm just gonna ignore all these guys freaking ignore those bros the whites or whatever keep going past these guys first thing i want to do though is learn a couple recipes that's uh that looks like the sumerian berserker down there walking around it's a sumerian berserker spawn which i might use for uh eh, actually i might for for zombies later on i was thinking about uh maybe using sumerian berserkers but i might just do relic hunters like there's just so many relic hunters but there's a couple of recipes up here that i would like to learn I think one of them. Let's see, they're, they're, these is the the Forgotten Tribe dudes. Is that where? I go? Uh, yeah, that's where I. That's where I'm gonna go in. Interested to see how much damage do to these guys. So I don't think. No. So they have like star metal weapons. I don't think they have. Yeah, whatever. I don't think they, I don't think, yeah, they don't have as much health as the uh, guys down at, um, Sepamaru, so, just take these bros out. Just be smart about it. I also dropped, like, steel, which is pretty cool, but, I don't know if I'm gonna bother getting any of that. Maybe I will. Let's pick up some steel. We can. Get this hardened, was that hardened steel pick? I'll take that. Okay. I don't know where that other guy went, but we can just keep moving. We'll get some NPC slaughtering in on this episode. Just pull some of these guys off first. Put a town on him. Don't get all three. There we go. That's sick. Come on, let's go. Take. Oh. Can't attack through attack animation. Bam. Got him. Who is shooting this guy? Him? Whatever. As long as he's not shooting my horse. We got steel. Yep, have to take the steel. We can bonk him. We can pull some more bros. We good. I can't remember where this uh, recipe is hanging out. I don't think it's in this one, but I guess we'll check this out. Anybody? Anybody cool? Tanner? Let's like draw some of these dudes out here. Tell our horse to get out of here. Take this idiot out. Bonk. Okay. Take him out too. Bam. Okay, I got a sorcerer coming on us. Sorcerer 3, huh? Grab the steel. Man, 
And it takes two. I, I, I'm still. I don't know. It's like the scrolling through the inventory. Sometimes it's weird. I don't think the the recipe is not in this one. It's at a different one. All right, so we'll get out of here and I'll figure out where the heck uh, I need to go from here. All right, dudes, I actually think it's, it's this area up here that I needed to go to. I'm gonna drop off this steel on the horse. Take out this loser. Missed him. Yeah, Sepamaru definitely has the highest health thralls. The NPCs there. So I'm just using like a freaking s steel ancient Kopesh on these guys. We'll keep on moving in here. I don't want to draw like everybody at once. Get dogpiled, even though I think I could deal with it. But I don't know. Some of these guys have like star metal weapons. Yeah, let's get him over here. Tell our horse to get out of here. I should put his follow distance higher. I think his follow distance is too low. He crippled us. Sorry. Right. Let's just go in here a little bit farther. Maybe try to draw on some of these guys. Take out this archer. That guy. Get Mr. Blacksmith who wants to hang out. Okay, I got him. Yeah, I think the recipe is chilling right there. I can see it in the little recipe book. But let's tell our guys to get out of here. Just fall back. Got a bear. Bear three, nice. And st Star Metal Bro here. Let's so freaking Star Metal Greatsword Bro. He's probably going to hit hard, so let's take him out first. And Star Metal Sword Girl. Uh. It's not that bad. We don't want to get. We don't want this whole combo to get honest though. Which is why we go for. And yeah, that overhand attack is gonna hurt. Which is why I go for that second corrupted perk into authority, so our thralls can take. A thrall that we can split the damage that we take with our thrall. And I'll take this shaped wood so I can repair my kopesh. Bam. Bonk. Bonk. And we're just gonna learn this recipe here. Specialist cooking four. Cool. Who's this? Fighter three. And I gotta get that uh that bear's supplies too. Now that fighter three didn't stand a chance, man. One on one with this build, like the uh, broadsword. There we go. Got it. Get our buff back. Saying the broadsword, uh. Throwing axe combo one on one, it, 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 it's 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 awesome. At least against like NPCs, it just stun locks them, man. They can't do anything about it. They just get totally worked. And I think where I need to go from here is uh, down this way. Yeah, there's another recipe in this little hut over here. Oh, oh, overshot it. Keep going. It's like pretty easy one to learn. It's only like one dude hanging out in here too. I think. Let's freaking say hello. He interrupt his uh Oh, he's just chilling, I guess. Imagine that, you're just chilling. Some freaking broad comes here and just totally destroys you. Boom. Somebody's getting whacked on out there. Oh, okay, it's just an archer. He's missing. And there's other recipe here, so this is a uh, specialist cooking three. Cool. So we got a couple of recipes. That's all I wanted. Is the Sumerian Berserker chilling down there? Let's go check it out. I kind of feel like yeah, there he is. So Sumerian Berserker, what's up? Let's freaking work this guy. Let's, I'll have to, let's just dunk on this Sumerian Berserker. Just get dunked on, dude. That feels bad. Feels bad, man. I'm gonna grab his gauntlets. Yoink. Those I will put in here. I can just drop this human flesh. I don't need that. And what else? Maybe put the steel bar in there. Oh, we can repair our kopesh because I got some shaped wood. I don't need steel. Repair it. Didn't repair it much, but a little bit. 
But I'm gonna keep moving on from here. Let's uh, go up to Stargazer, Stargazer's Crest. All right, coming up on Stargazer's Crest right now. There is a camp right here, like a tiny one. I think, uh, I don't know, I think Delincia Snowhunter spawns here sometimes, maybe. Not that time though, that's okay. But this is a place where I know for sure that meteors uh, will hit. Um, in single player, uh, the meteor showers are are weird. Like, I don't I don't hundred percent understand how it works. I got let's, let's use this ancient pike. Screw these guys. Bonk. If we can bonk them with the pike. Nope, missed. Totally missed. So we can just put a ton on this guy. Oh, he's gonna get a big old combo on us. And we're gonna get knocked out. No. Nope. Yeah, I used all the stam there. Got him. Ah, we used the pike, so it'll be. She'll be happy. But uh, from what I understand, how I think it goes is that in single player, it, it isn't like a regular server where the whole world is, is still going. You know, even while you're not in the area. In single player, you have to be within that area for events to occur. So it really sucks. For meteor for meteor showers because I, don't know, I just I, it just it just works weird. But I'm gonna chill here for like I don't know probably half hour or so. See how it goes. Pause the recording. If anything uh, interesting happens, I will get back at it. All right, dudes. Uh, F and A. It actually freaking happened. I I I, I didn't I was, I was pay attention to something else. I didn't get it actually coming down. But you see, we got some star metal there. We got some star metal up there. Holy crap, it's only been about, I don't know, 15 minutes? Freaking sick. It's the first time it's ever done that in single player. Amaze balls. Totally amaze balls. But let's uh let's do this, man. Freaked stoked. Actually got some star metal. So we can shoot this one. Doink. Let's see how much we get here. That's it? Oh. oh, weird, man. See, it's like... Uh... Gonna like... What is this? I think like disappeared into the rock. I thought I thought it was like done. That's freaking awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Some more. There's one up there. I can see uh... The smoke coming from it. Dang, I was so startled, I was like, dude, I actually got some star metal, no way. And single player. Came down right, uh, right here. So there's another one. Get this guy. Bonk. Let's go, dude. I'm amazed. Let's keep whacking this. Gotta find the other ones, I was like, not even, it's like, holy crap, man, I gotta get this on. I was watching something else. That just blew up down there, I don't know why. But let's put this on the uh, bearer. And I'm just gonna look around to we are uh, where these other ones fell. Alright, nice, we got one right here. Let's go. Man, sometimes these things used to be bugged too. It's so annoying you'd get all the way up here and like You'd shoot them, and they just wouldn't break open. So it was super duper annoying. Getting a bunch of star metal lore. Let's go. Man, I might not even have... I wanted to get have some room for some black ice, but... Getting a ton of star metal. I think we'll still have... Well, I'll still have room for black ice. Alright, keep looking for uh, some other ones. Cool, there's one more right here. Grab it. I'm really amazed that it actually worked. In single player. Let's go. I thought I was going to be waiting up here for freaking ever, man. It only took about 15 minutes. But yeah, just just chill. We can sky... Oh, Stargazer's Crest. You don't got to go way up in the in the cold. That's a lot of star metal. Let's, let's check this out. How much star metal is that? That's, that is almost 1,500. 
right there. That's awesome. Really cool. Okay, I'm just gonna look around and see if there's any more. Yep, one more uh, right over here. That's as many as I'm not gonna look around anymore. Just feel like, oh, there's a couple more, man. Let's go. I'm never gonna have to get freaking Star Mill again on this entire playthrough. That is so, that is super neat. Okay, we're just gonna like fall on top of it. There we go. And just whack this. No. Get a. Get some water in me. There we go. Let's go over here. Our bear to get down here, man. I wanted room for uh, black ice. I don't have any room for black ice. I just got 2,000 star metal. Heck yeah, dude. Um, all right, this crap I'm gonna keep on me, but like this stuff, we'll just throw on the horse. Yeah, I'm still not, you know, over encumbered or anything. There's one more up here. Let's see if we can grab this guy too. All right, let's just like shoot it from here first. Bonk, and I'll go try to get over there. All right, we are over here. I'm see if I can like just kind of like fall on top of it. Okay, don't be stupid. There we go, and we're on top of it. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna whack this guy till it all explodes. Let's get as much star metal as possible, man. And we're falling. Grab onto the ledge, boom, down here. Let's go. Nice. Really nice. That's all I'm gonna grab. That's all I really have room for, man. I wonder how much I got. Where's our bearer at? There he is. Crap, just put this on him, I guess. I guess it doesn't uh, weigh that much. Put some on our horse. We got over 2,000 star metal. Heck yeah. Let's go. Alright, well, let's uh, go and hit up the frost temple. Or at least around that area to get some black ice. As much as I can carry, really. So uh, we'll go on the journey that way. Alright, so I'm just going through this little pass. The Mons of the Dead's back that way. But uh, there's a bunch of baddies over here. I'm just running past all these losers. There's like mammoths and bears and saber tooths and wolves and crap. Screw that, dude. Peace. Get on out of here. Yep, that's uh, where we are. Going. Yep, just coming across this way. I believe that's where you learn the uh, Emir religion. It's up there. I really don't feel any need to learn that. But if you were, wanted to, that's where you go do it. Dang, man, there's some more star metal uh, over here. Huh. Crazy pants. We got a saber tooth on our couple of them on our tail. I am not dealing with those bros. No thanks. So I'm just gonna lose these guys. All right, they're uh they're pissing off. So we're, we should be good. There's some more star metal over there. Dang man, if I have more inventory space, I really don't though. Like bear bros full. We got some easy black ice right here though. So we'll grab that. We can harvest this junk. I don't want to keep a, like a one stack of ice as well. We could maybe throw a couple stacks of black ice on. That, look at that rock nose. He's going bananas down there. He doesn't know what to do. Okay, yep, that's some easy black ice. We'll go get some more though. We got some uh, loser saber tooths on our tail, but we're just now I'm going. Eh, there's more star metal right there. So I mean, dudes, all I did. I'm in single player. I, this has never happened to me. I'm, it's really strange, but I, I've always been used to like never getting star metal in single player. But all I did was just come up the Stargazer's Crest, chilled for like 15 minutes, and boom. Meteor shower, let's go. So we're up here. There's some uh, easy black ice. It's not even in Frost Temple. Got a little bit of ice on me. Alright, so it's very cold up here, but I'm not taking damage. Should be okay. Let's bonk. Bonk that obelisk. There's black, that's some black ice right there. We'll go grab that. 
Whack this black ice. Whack this black ice. And getting some, some black ice, it's cool. Still just very cold, so we're okay. Not gonna take damage. Keep on going. Unless some, eh, is there some? No, there's not any up there, but I know there's like some in this corner over here. It's gonna be all dark too. How many arrows did I even use? I only use like six arrows, that's awesome. I got some black ice right here. Just throw that on the horse. Boom. And one right here. It's gonna be all dark, which is uh, really annoying. Okay, a thousand black ice. It's not 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 that great to be honest, but. Maybe if I can, it's, it's not too dark over here. What I'm gonna do, real quick, I'm just have this, okay, thralls are not allowed here, that's, okay, I'm gonna find a spot where I can put this horse. All right, so I'm putting our horse down right here. Boom, he's gonna chill there, right? I don't need my horse right now. I don't wanna take that much damage. But we'll come back for him. I just put him standing guard right there, so he's not gonna go anywhere. We'll go back to, to the uh, frost nipple down here. I'm gonna see if I can take out a couple of these frost giant losers. It's like not that dark over here. I can bonk this. These guys, are, I don't know, they're not that bad. I just gotta uh, kind of avoid his attacks. But they're usually. Okay. okay, it's extremely cold right here. That's okay. We got glutton for punishment. We can deal with a little bit of the cold. I just wanna see. Sometimes they drop like warming foods. And they don't, I know, he's going down kind of fast. Just avoid that. It's probably because I don't have an epic armor on. That's why I'm just taking damage because of the extreme cold. I just want to get, I don't really don't want to get hit by him. They do like this cold snap debuff that kind of hurts. But let's just keep going after this dink. I don't know what's going on with the lighting over there. What's this? Rhino hit soup. So I'll take it. Is that getting me? Oh, carry weight. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want the carry weight or not. Let's see if this guy maybe drops something. It's only very cold right here. So I'm do is uh. Okay, he's not gonna attack. Well, I'm gonna go after him then. I yeah, just gotta avoid him. Okay, got the cold snap. That's okay. Just back off a little bit, get some health back. Maybe do a, uh, yeah, you get to see like this frostbite debuff. But we got aloes. I'll just let this debuff go away. Okay, still got the cold snap debuff. It's going after. Got it. Got aloes, so should be okay. And got glutton for punishment too. Let's get an aloe. Get some health back. Sometimes that swing can like get, get out of here. Oh, got 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 the cold snap debuff. It's alright. Just back off. We got aloes. We're good. Let's let him uh, do his thing. Okay, take an aloe. Let's take him down right here. Yep, that's an easy one to dodge. It's gonna go down right here. You have anything? What's this? Absinthe. I think that's warming. Right, maybe? Yeah, yep, that's warming. Good. So we're just very cold right here. I'll just take another aloe. Let's get down here. I don't have my horse. I'm just gonna mine. Get as much black ice as I can carry. Right here. I don't think I should aggro those nerds that are chilling over there, the other frost giants, and I really, I don't want to deal with them, to be honest. We're just cold, that absinthe has given us a really good, um, warming buff, which is cool. I'm just gonna keep mining black ice until I, uh, 
until I freaking run out of carry weight. Drop ice. And I might actually just get the purified flesh. I just want to see how much I can carry here. Okay, 103%. Uh, is there anything else I can like let's just drop? But that's that Sumerian helmet. Ah, whatever, that's fine. I don't have a problem with just dropping that. Alright, we're good. Let's get out of here. Cool. Got some black ice. Totally awesome. Let's get out of here. Let me go back to the uh to the horse. Alright, dude, so we're back at our horse. And uh, I think that was a complete success. I got done what I wanted to get done today. Got a bunch of like 4,000, a little over 4, 2,000, sorry, 2,000 black ice, which is really good. Over 2,000 star metal ore, that's awesome. Um, got some new obelisks, got some new recipes, new crafting station stuff down, but I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see some more Conan shenanigans. But uh, yep, hope everybody has a good one and take it easy.